I've found the craziest one-star reviews for Blender add-ons. Look at this. How can I give this product even one star when I never got to use it? They stole my money. That's the first one. I've got like 50. So I'm gonna test these out and see if they truly are one-star add-ons. These are the rules. Buy it, try it, review it. But there's a catch. No matter how bad the add-on is, I have to give it a glowing five-star review. Let's begin. <coughs> One click damage. You click, you damage. Need I say more? Seriously though, this is a crowd pleaser add-on. It's got over 7,000 downloads. It honestly looks amazing. And I know you're saying, Smith, isn't one click damage like the best add-on? What could possibly be wrong with it? That's what I thought too, until I saw Marcin's review. This plugin is piece of shit. Works great on default cube, yeah. Apply it on a slightly more complicated geometry, you end up with bloody mess. One star. Okay, two things. First off, is that a Legend of Zelda Deku profile picture? Nice. And second off, this guy's claiming the core feature of this add-on doesn't work on anything but a cube. If he's right, then I'm going to struggle to find a way to leave a five-star review. I thought this was an isolated incident, but then I scrolled down and found this review from Chris. I really never review add-ons, but I had to come here to say this. Trash. If you use this on anything more complex than a cube, you are screwed. Better save your work because even with a 4090 and an i9, this add-on when invoked will freeze your computer. Again I say, trash. One star. This is more serious than I thought. <laughs> Chris never leaves reviews, but here they are trashing the review section. I gotta test this out, and I'm gonna try to do this with three levels of difficulty. So I loaded Blender, deleted the default smith, and tested this with level one, the cube. It works. <laughs> I, I don't know what I expected. I mean, I clicked, I damaged. It also has these super nice features. So if I don't like the damage pattern, I can just change it. This is really cool. But now I need to pass level two, the cylinder. It works. <laughs> Honestly, this thing is meeting my expectations, and then some. There's something about good UI that's just... Oh, God, it's so good. If you don't like your damage, you can undo it with this button, and if you like it, you can apply it. Mm, so good. But now the real challenge begins with level three, the camera. Is this really trash? Will it really break on even a slightly more complex item? It works. <laughs> it, it just works. You can even fix your model with one click, as ironic as that is. I don't know what Chris was talking about. Maybe he tried it on the 8K rap model. But I mean, if you're doing that, you got other problems. <laughs> All right, review time. That was really fun, but I still have to get through all of these. The reviews are only going to get harder from here and more insane. And for this next one, we've got to talk to the mineral man himself. Um, I don't know if you guys would get that joke. <coughs> Crystals. They're rocks, Hank. No, they're minerals. Jesus, Marie. Honestly, this one is pretty self-explanatory. It makes crystals. 14, to be exact. And you can make a bunch of variations. I mean, look at all this. Let's see the reviews. Useless. One star. <laughs> okay, as useless as that review is, I'm laughing because right underneath it, there's literally only one other review that says, high quality, realistic, five stars. <laughs> I mean, the fact that these are next to each other is so funny. <laughs> Looks like I need to come in and be the middleman. Let's see what we're really working with here. I did the usual, opened up Blender, deleted the default smith, and loaded in the add-on. But I quickly realized I missed the most crucial part of this product. What? <laughs> this is geometry notes based. I don't know how I didn't expect this to be honest. It was literally right there on the product page. Everything is procedural. That is so cool. You can change like 
anything about the crystals with a few sliders. I was ready to review at this point, but then I found this. Oh, and you can draw, you can draw out the crystals. I mean, even if the crystals weren't enough, the materials alone that come with it are pretty amazing. I'm on the side of Zhenyuanfeng, but I guess I still have to test this review, and there's only one way to do that. All right, review time. Guys, this next add-on is gonna blow your mind. Maybe, I, I don't know. <laughs> this add-on is like one-click damage, but for hard surface modeling. There's so much stuff jam-packed in here. You can basically turn a cube into a space station. It's crazy. Oh, and apparently you can do this in your sleep. I mean, that's what Chip said. You can do all of this while you sleep. All this sounds good. A little too good. So I checked the reviews. The product does not live up to the promise of the flashy videos. The customer support is terrible. You will get banned from this Discord if you complain. Negative reviews and criticism are deleted. Cannot recommend this product at all. You also have to buy KitOps Pro to get any use out of this. I feel really ripped off. Avoid. One star. These are some serious allegations. Terrible customer support, shady business practices. If this is true, then I'm in serious trouble because I mean, I already bought the add-on. <laughs> I thought it couldn't get worse than that, but then I found Stefan's review. Forget it, last update in forever. But you could say that update is being sold as a separate product called a Spock. This is the kind of predatory practices that really bring this platform down. You have really changed, Mr. Walters. One star. For some reason, Stefan is declaring war over essentially a DLC pack. And on top of that, he's claiming the dev is some kind of predator. All right, I think it's time we test this. I loaded up Blender, deleted the default smith, and began installing the add-on. Okay, so it turns out the first allegation is just wrong. Um, there's a free version of KitOps 2. Again, I don't know why I'm surprised. It was literally the first thing on the product page. But let's actually test this out. What does KitOps Synth do? Basically, it lets you make cool designs with pre-made assets. You just click a face, select what you want, and then hit the do it button. But it gets way more advanced than that. You can stack a bunch of different presets on top of each other with layers. So you can get some super in-depth designs. I mean, look at some of these. This is all great, but I want to try this recipe thing, which lets you load in other people's creations and play with them. Only problem is I couldn't get it to work. So I need to test the customer support. Is it really that bad? Will they even respond? And will I get kicked out for pinging the owner directly? No, <laughs> Chip was really nice. And I got the recipes working in no time. They look great, but there's still one thing left to test. The reason I bought this add-on in the first place. Can't you really use KitOps while you sleep? All right, review time. Guys, look at this view. Isn't it crazy? I don't know what's more crazy, you guys watching this video or me not knowing how to transition to the next. <laughs> this is one of those add-ons that's just nice to have. And pretty much like every other add-on, it's also a one-click solution. It makes your renders look amazing and way more realistic. I was super excited to try this. But then I saw the review. Tried several times just like the documentation and video, but can't get it to work. I might do something wrong, who knows, but I'm contacted the creator a month ago with this question and he just ignores my posts completely. No reaction whatsoever, not even after sending reminder. Bad service. One star. I've known about this add-on for a while now, but this has me worried. Not the fact that this guy's name is WigglePixel, <laughs> but because there's another one right underneath it that says this. Boca texture not working. Two stars. And that's the whole add-on. <laughs> it's it's basically just a fancy bokeh effect. Let's see if this is actually true. I opened up Blender, deleted the defaults. Wait, 
no, we actually need them for this one. So there's two things we need to test. Does it work? And does it bokeh? I installed the add-on and within about a minute, I was able to make my render go from this to this. And it could be the lack of sleep, but I'm pretty sure that's a working bokeh. <laughs> Literally all I did was click the add pro lens button and played with the sliders. This is so good. The UI makes perfect sense and you can make this effect as extreme or minimal as you want. There's even the option to add a vignette effect, which just adds even more to the realism. All right, review time. Okay, this next add-on is a little different, but I think you're gonna love this. <coughs> All right, it's not an add-on, but Derek Elliott is a pro in the industry and he did just release five original Skillshare classes. And this is my favorite one. It's called Advanced 3D Animation. It's an hour long and it's so good. Derek teaches you everything you need to know about advanced 3D animation in such a short period of time. Plus, if you wanna try something different like Blender in general, or even some of my classes, you can. Because Skillshare has hundreds of creative career focused classes too, like photography and animation. It's awesome. Skillshare is sponsoring this video, by the way, if that wasn't obvious, but I can genuinely say that I've used Skillshare for years and it's helped me get to where I am today. If you wanna watch Derek's classes, which I highly recommend, well, now's your chance because Skillshare has hooked me up with literally their best offer ever. The first 500 people to use my link below will get a one month free trial and 40% off your first year of Skillshare. Using that link seriously helps support this channel, but more importantly, it lets me do this whole YouTube thing for you for free. Click the link below and thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I love material add-ons. They just save so much time. But this is not only one of the most downloaded add-ons, it's also one of the most hated. It's crazy. Look at this. Avoid this like COVID. More like extreme waiting game. 17 hours to download 5% of the assets and I'm on a fast internet connection. What a waste of time and money. An absolute joke of a product that overcomplicates things for no reason. One star. This is really funny, but I thought it was a one-off. Turns out there's a lot of other people saying basically the same thing. Download is too slow. It took me a week to be able to use it. Unusable and uninstalled after losing money. One star. And on top of that, apparently I need to make an account somewhere to even be able to use the add-on. I mean, you can read this one for yourself. H is going off here. This is wild for essentially a pack of materials. That is the add-on in essence. It's a huge library of materials that you can edit and apply to pretty much anything with a few clicks. It looks really cool, but I'm more interested in these reviews. Horrible sign-up process, slow download speed, installation nightmare. Let's test it. I opened up Blender, deleted the default speed, and started loading in the add-on. So far, so good. No dodgy sign-up to be seen. Now for the download. Wow, that was actually quick. This is fast in Australia, trust me. I guess there's only one thing left to do. I'm kind of in shock. I, th I thought this is gonna be a pain to do, but that took 10 minutes. And I mean, the results here are pretty amazing. Look at all this stuff. All right, review time. There's still one more add-on that I need to get through, and I've saved the absolute best for last. <coughs> if you've ever tried baking textures in Blender, you either know the meaning of pain or are about to. <laughs> you have to go through like 20 steps just to get one image. It's a nightmare. Luckily, Simple Bake promises to solve that all for you. But then I looked at the review. The add-on doesn't work at all. The baked materials have f***ed up UVs. I tried to contact the developer for help, but he replied, but didn't help at all. One star. 
This might be the craziest one I've seen so far. Not because Tom is ripping into the dev here, but because he responded. Completely agree. Weird how I couldn't help you with this given all the detailed information you gave me in your one and only message. <laughs> and he does this with every one star review. Look at this one. It will be nice to work as in demo, but it doesn't. I love this guy. There's a bunch of other reviews like this, but here's the situation. It's too complex, the add-on doesn't work, and it ruins your UV maps. Let's test it. I opened up Blender, deleted the default speed, and added in this barrel object. All right, let's see what we're working with. But as soon as I opened the add-on, I saw it. I watched a tutorial. It, it really wasn't that complicated. But now with all my settings ready to go, it was time to bake. Does it really work? Will this add-on actually break? And did I just waste $18? Wait, what? That literally took three seconds. What is going on? But there's still one thing left to test. And if this fails, I don't know if I'm going to be able to leave five stars. All right. Review time. I'm not sure if you guys have caught on yet, but there are no one-star Blender add-ons. Seriously, I checked. <laughs> when you filter by one star, you basically just get a list of every add-on that has a review, not one-star reviews. I even went to the developers of Blender Market to get help, and they told me, we can't do that. <laughs> so I thought, would it be funny if someone made a one-star add-on? And wouldn't it be funnier if that someone was me? <laughs> so I did. It's called Defaults Me. It's available right now and it's $1. But there's a catch. Inside this Blender add-on, there's a hidden puzzle. And the first person to unlock this will get $1,000. I'm not kidding. Everything you need is inside the Blender add-on. It comes with the Smeef model, the Smeef texture, the Smeef bendy bone rig, and a pre-built animation that you can apply to anything. Whoever finds and unlocks the puzzle will know exactly how to claim the prize. I don't think anyone's gonna figure it out. <laughs> but the main objective of this add-on is to have the most one-star reviews. I'm talking one-to-one -one ratio. If you do download this, all I ask is that you please leave a one-star review. It doesn't even have to be negative. It can be anything. You could leave a note to self, YouTube tutorial requests, your grocery list, whatever it is, please make it a one-star review. But for now, if you're looking for five-star add-ons, you'll wanna watch this video right here.